Hey everybody, this is Eric Worre. Welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I'm here in Vienna, Austria, and uh, speaking at a conference, and this gentleman is the number one earner in his company. He's earning over a million dollars a year. His name is Mario Oreja. Mario? Hello, hi. How are you? Perfect, thank you. He speaks multiple languages. I only speak English. I wish I could speak uh, more than one language. Um, so we're going to do our best to do this interview in English to be able to share some ideas with you. Uh, if we have challenges, we have a translator on standby to be able to come in and help. But uh, Mario, thank you for spending the time. Thank you too. I appreciate it very much. Um, how old are you? Do you mind me asking? No, I'm 32. 32. 32 years old and earning over a million dollars a year. Yes. Yes. And how long have you been involved? Now, understand, when we do these interviews, we don't talk about any companies mm -hmm. or any particular products or anything like that. We keep it generic. But um, how long have you been working in this company? Now I'm uh, close seven years. Seven years. Mm -hmm. So you started at age 25. Uh, and the end of 20, 24 years, yes. 24, 24 years old. So you just, so as a young man. Yes. Then and um, what was your background before you got involved in network marketing? What were you doing? I was in the restaurant business because um, yeah, my father was in the restaurant business, my mother was in the restaurant business, even my grandfather and my grandmother in Italy was in the restaurant business. So I slipped into this branch. So what were you doing in the restaurant business? Waiter. Waiting, waiting tables. With my father, mother, and my two brothers. So typical Italian family restaurant. Yes. What was what kind of food? The best one in Austria. Yes? Yeah. Spaghetti, pizza, antipasto. Here in Austria? Yeah, here in Austria. Okay, so you're Italian, mm -hmm. but you live in Austria. I am half Italian, half Austrian. Ah, I understand. Something a mix. I understand. So how many languages do you speak? German, Italian, and I give the best in English. And you give the best in English. All right. I think you're doing just fine. Okay. Just fine. Uh, your, 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 uh, your English is better than my Italian and... <laughs> My German, so it's fine. Okay. Um, so you come out of the, the restaurant business. Mm -hmm. Yes. What attracted you to network marketing? What was interesting about it? Yeah, of course, the basic income. I love it. And I love my father. I love my mother, really. But um, I see in a young age, 24, that my father and my mother was close to 60. They work 24 hours a day. They work like hell. And I know exactly when I go this way, I end like my mother and my father. And I saw a search in a young age if, uh, for a lot of opportunity, like Henry Ford said, mm -hmm. check every opportunity. And one of them can be your chance of your lifetime. And this company was my chance. So did you get a lot of, were, were your mom and dad happy about your decision or were they no, unhappy? No, 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 no. You know, in Italy, yeah, yeah, yeah. papa and boss, yeah. couple. And when I go out of the restaurant business, I have some, a lot of, because he's from the old school, you know, my father, and he don't understand really network marketing. They don't understand the branch. They don't understand nothing. And so he said, "I, my father planned that I was his pension. Yes, yes, his pension because then he can go and retire, and I take care about the restaurant. And so he was not really fun. I was not very happy about that. But yes, today he's very happy. Today he's happy, but back then, back then he wasn't. So I, the only reason why I ask is." <laughs> I think there's a lot of people that get involved in network marketing. At the very beginning, it doesn't fit what the other family members think. Exactly. And uh, there's some pressure, and you have to like be strong in your belief that it's going to be good for you. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm very happy about my father because he don't believe in this in this industry, you know, because he's, he's from the old school. But I was 24 years old and I have really problems to start this business because everyone in my age, disco, alcohol, woman, something like that, no interesting in, in business. And so in the young age, it's not, not really easy to, to build up this business. And my contacts are, I mean, in a few weeks over. And so I go every time to my father and to my mother, okay, you don't believe it, but please give me your contacts. I make the appointments just to have it, you know? Hmm. So he helped me in the beginning. So he helped you connect with some people. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Even, even though he wasn't crazy about your decision, he was still supporting you as, <laughs> as part of the family. Exactly. All right, cool. So 
Um, in your first year, did you have much success in your first year? Um, yes. Like how much? How much did you earn your first year? In the first year, I earned something that I don't remember. One hundred fifty. One hundred fifty thousand euros. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty good. It was very good. Yes. Yeah, you got some things moving. Yes. Yeah. What do you think? And 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 it it's grown every year since then. Mm -hmm. And okay. now you're top of the uh, of of the the heap in the in this particular company. One question I like to ask people is well first question is were you always entrepreneurial? Did you always think like an entrepreneur? Did you always want to be in business for yourself? What do you mean entrepreneur? Uh did you always want to be in business for yourself? Did you always want to be your own boss? Yes, of course. Always. Ever since you were a little little boy? Yes. Yeah, you never wanted to be part of some other company. You never wanted to be an employee for somebody. No, but I I start like that. You did. This was important for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, and and there's a lot of people that have gotten involved in your company. Why? What have you done that's different? What have you done? What makes you special? What makes what what causes you to earn what you earn when other people aren't earning as much? I mean. Just my opinion. I mean, it's very, very, very important in this business that you have a very, very strong self motivation. You need it because you get a lot of no's. This is the truth. Mm -hmm. um, you must be very good in tell a story. So self motivation is one. You have to you have to determine your own action, mm -hmm. okay? And you have to be good at telling story. Tell a story. What do you mean by that? To tell a story, to speak in pictures. I mean, it is someone something that I'm, I'm very professional in that. Because when, when I get something from the company or something like that, I, every time I build a story and tell the people. And of course, self-motivation and of course... Well, before you go, go on, think about the, the rest. But I think, I, I, I love the way you said it. Okay. You, when the company comes out with something, you build the story. Every time. And then you tell the people. Because it's so different. But you can understand what he's, what he's talking about is the difference between a professional and an amateur. Amateurs let other everybody tells them stories. Professionals they build the story around their company, their product, their service, and then they tell the people. And is it enough to tell the story once, or do you have to tell it over and over and over? Over and over and over and over. Constantly, you tell the story to the leaders. You tell the story to the brand new people over and over and over and over. Do you think that's been a big difference for you? Yeah, of course, because the story is duplicatable and not the product. The people remember about the story, they speak about the story. This is much important now to speak about every time about the product. What is behind the product? What is when you start your day? What, you know what I mean? Yeah. Something Product's like fine, but story people remember. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All right, so self-motivation and story. What else caused you? Caused you, what, do you what else do you think is different about you? That's something you do different than anybody else? I'm a pusher. Hmm. I'm very strong in emotions. Um, Describe what is I that? Mean, what do you mean by that? If I'm on your team, I mean, I mean 95% in this in this in this industry is emotions. When you're yeah. strong in emotions, because emotions are duplicated. Mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're strong in emotion, when you know exactly the goals from the people, and you kick them every day, because not everybody are strong enough to self motivate himself. You know, yes. they need some. You know, and I, I do this. I do this every day. I motivate the people. I make meetings and make events every time like this. You're pushing, 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 and pushing, push pushing, pushing, pushing. Exactly. Constantly. Const, constantly pushing, yes. Yes. So that's a difference between you and other people. You, you push a little bit more than everybody else. Push. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, what about your work ethic? Do you work hard? In a moment? No, not in a moment. I mean, just in general. Are you a hard worker? Yes. Um, so, so do you think hard work is important? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Uh, there's a lot of people that want to try and get something out of a network marketing business, but they're not willing to do the work exactly. first. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. What else do you think uh, uh, separates you? Just one sentence. What do you do in your free time? Mm -hmm. Very important because people come to me and say, okay, I have three, four appointments. Okay. But okay, then you go home. But what do you do in your free time? This is so, this is so, so different to, to go also here, you know, to grow here because Every time when I start this business, I use every second for this business because I'm a waiter, you know, and I go in a, in a school for three hours or three years to learn to bring Coke on the table, you know, 
And then I go in an industry, you can earn 100, 150 a month or more. And then I'm not able enough or I'm not strong enough to make something for this industry. And so for me, it was sure when I start this business and make it professional from the beginning on. This one is one of the, I make for sure in this company, the most mistakes ever, for sure. But one thing I make a little bit different. I, I see this business from the beginning on like a business. And so every time when I go to the appointment in the car, I listen to audiobooks. When I at home and I have not appointments, I read a book. What do you do in your free time? You know? Some people go home and say, okay, now I have no appointment, I have nothing, and then do some they do I don't know what. But they spend not the free time in this business. And this is a big difference, in my opinion. Two, three years all in. Yes. On focus. So I love that. What do you do in your free time? And it doesn't necessarily it, it, it might not be growing your business, but it's still growing you. Exactly. You know, whether it's personal development. Has personal development been important for you? Yeah, of course. It's one of the important things. Yes. What, where, do you, where do you get your most personal development? Is it audio? Is it books? Is it events? What is it? Everything. Everything. I go, I go my four, five, six events a year, seminars. I read books every year constantly, 10 till 20, constantly. Mm -hmm. And of course, audio books. And I duplicate this also. Because I'm a pusher, you know, but I, let, I, I love it that other people work for me. You know, mm -hmm. for example, you, mm -hmm. audiobooks, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. I give it my organization. Yeah. I take trainers around the world and they push them. Mm -hmm. I give them audiobooks and say, okay, when you go to the appointment, listen to that. And mm -hmm. they know exactly 100 or 1,000 people in this moment sit in the car and get pushing from the best trainer worldwide. Mm -hmm. Here, mental and all the other things. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, how, many, how, how many leaders have you developed in your team, do you think? Leaders? Good leaders, strong leaders. Close 5,000. 5,000. Mm -hmm. Wow. Over the course of seven years. Mm -hmm. And how many people total in your group? Total in, in, total in your organization? How, uh, how big one, is your network? 1.5 million. 1.5 million. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's like no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> I like Age 32. Age? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he just got a brand new Ferrari. I just saw his Ferrari. It's just this uh, supercar. Italian. <laughs> it's Italian. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Living, and you have a nice place in Mallorca. Mm -hmm. As well as here? Do you have a place here too or no? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, of course, no problem. Ah. House is here, house is there, <laughs> cars here, all this stuff. Well, listen, um, the people who are watching, first, I really appreciate the fact of you um, sharing your ideas, sharing your insights. I, I, I really like, some of them are really, really great. Um, what I'd like to do, the people who are watching this, they want to have success too. They want to be able to crack the code and have a breakthrough, have a positive experience for the network marketing career. Do me a favor, look into the camera and just give them your best advice, your best ideas on how to do better. If they were part of your downline, they were looking you in the eye and saying, please tell me what I need to do. Um, go ahead and tell them what you would, what you would uh, advise them to do. I can only say something from my experience. When you start really this business, Make not the same mistakes like me. From the beginning on, see this business like a real business. Never give up. Look that you have a, a, a lot of self-motivation. Grow here. And give everything what you have. Give it all you got. Give all you have. This, and never give up. I love it. I love it. Well, my friend, thank you. Thank you too. For sharing your ideas. Thank you for sharing your wisdom your experiences. Congratulations on your success. You should be proud. Uh, and I know you're just getting started, right? You're going to do some much bigger things. Yes. As you move forward, it's an idea of what's possible. What's, what's great about our profession is happening all over the world, every language in the world, um, from people with every walk of life. He was working in a restaurant as a, as a waiter at age 24 and seven years later, living his lifestyle on a big, big scale and helping other people do the same thing. Hope you got value from this. Ladies and gentlemen, our wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.